Two of the things that I have loved in my life since I was quite young are athletic competition and adventure travel. So when my wife became pregnant with our first child, I began to get really attached to a vision of this child being a wonderful athlete and that I would go to her games and I would coach her and follow her career. She'd be multi-sport. <laughs> and I also started dreaming about the places we'd go for adventures, that we'd go maybe up into the Yukon to the Nahani River or we'd go down to Mexico and, and uh, sea kayak with the gray whales. And so Kate comes along, and you know when they're really small, you can take them anywhere. So was, I used to carry her on the, uh, in a pouch on my chest, and, and we would go cross-country skiing, and we'd go hiking, and then later on in the backpack, more of that. And in the canoe, we'd paddle together, and, <clears throat> and uh, I could take her on the bike, in the back of the bike. So I was having a great time. These were things that I loved doing. But when she became five... I did something that shocked me into really having to reconsider how I was as a parent and what Kate was about and wanted. So five years old, I sign her up for recreational soccer because she's going to be great. <laughs> and I do this without telling her. Um, and also knowing that our attempts to play soccer earlier have not been very successful. She's not shown much enthusiasm for it. But I, I think, well, you know, when she gets up there with the other kids, I mean, she'll light up. and She'll, she'll get into it. She'll be great. A day or two before that first meeting, I say to Kate, oh, Kate, now, Saturday morning, we're going to go up to PES, and we're going to go in the playground in the, in the back, and you're going to get to play soccer with a lot of other kids, boys and girls your own age, and you're going to get a T-shirt, and it's going to be lots of fun, and I'm going to be up there. I'll be cheering you along as well. I'll be standing on the sideline cheering you along. Uh, there's not much response from her. But we get up there. I'm excited. <laughs> and she gets the T-shirt, and there are lots of kids running around, and, and uh, they do a few drills. And then they start a scrimmage. And those of you who have seen small children play soccer, you know, it's, it, the ball drifts around and there's a pack of children running after the ball. <laughs> there's no positional play. But Kate takes a position on the field like this and doesn't move. Yo, come on, Kate. Go out. Come on, honey, get in there. Go after the ball. Go after the ball, honey. Uh, nothing. So we have a little pep talk on the way home. It's a short walk, but all right, come on. Second week, we're back at it. Same thing. Ooh. Third week, same thing. I mean, if the ball comes near her, she steps away. <laughs> think, Can this be my child? And the, uh, in the, at the fourth week, I really lose my mind. And, and during, this, during the game, I walk onto the field and get on my knees and get in her face and scream at her. Oh. And her face is paralyzed looking back at me because I've never screamed at her before. And when I walk off the field, I'm just appalled at my own behavior. I, I just, uh, it's hard to believe I've done this, but so I'm in shock too. I apologize on the way home and, and I do a lot of fretting about it. And, it, I mean, it's really clear to me. It's, it's not about me. It's about I'm raising a child. It's about her. I mean, that's, that's parenting 101. Duh. And I also know something about this professionally because I, I work with teams, and fundamental to teams is having clear decision-making processes. So one of the most important decisions a team makes is how to make a decision. And so I really need to... to make a major adjustment with Kate about how we're going to decide what she's going to do. So by the next morning, I, I have an idea of, of how I can bring this across to a five-year-old, maybe. So we have the one-to-one. -one. I said, Kate, now, uh, we really re need to rethink how we decide things. And I've been doing most of the deciding for you, and, and um, we have to change that up so you're doing more of the deciding. So some things... 
you're going you're gonna to decide. For example, with your allowance, you decide how to use it. I don't have any, any choice on that. It's all for you. Or sometimes when we go to the library, you can choose the books you want. Or sometimes around play, um, you can decide who you want to play with and the like. Now, sometimes I'll give you some suggestions, but you get to decide. And then sometimes the two of us will have to decide together. We'll both have to agree on something. So that might be a book, too. But, <clears throat> and we'll, but we'll only do it if both of us agree. And then sometimes I'll make decision because I'll know more about the schedule or something or, or, or where mama's working or, or if we're going to see grandma or something. So I'll make the decision. It'll be an I decide. But sometimes I'll ask for your input and uh, <clears throat> what you're thinking. Uh, there's no light going on in her eyes. like she's dead. <laughs> So, all right, who knows. Uh, uh, but two days later, there's a birthday in the neighborhood. Her, one of her best friends, Ben, is having a birthday, and he's going to have the birthday at the bowling alley. Oh, Kate, Ben's birthday. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot of fun. We're going to go to Ben's birthday, and it's going to be held at the bowling alley. Oh, Dad, Daddy, I don't want to go. Oh, come, Kate, this is one of your best friends, Ben. You, it's his birthday. It's really important that you go to his birthday. No, no Daddy, I don't want to go. Oh, Kate, it's really important that you go. So um, how about this? You go to the birthday, but you can decide if you want to bowl. And she says to me, you mean, Daddy, that's an I decide? Oh, oh, I'm delighted. And as you can imagine, Kate never played soccer again. <laughs> she never played any kind of team sports. But she has become a wonderful outdoor adventure leader. And we have now used that way of deciding things for 30 years. And we did go to Mexico, to the Baja, and we did sea kayak with the gray whales. And we have done a number of trips like that, and they have been We Decide. Thank you.